Hello, everybody. Also, I'm back here after having to take a bit of a break. And at first, I thought I was totally screwed because I thought this video was 20 minutes long. The camera is not exactly the best. So, the video length is only 13 minutes. Good. Oh, did I actually re-record that? Anyways. Yeah, what the heck? I'm gonna cut you. Die. Ooh, special lamp. If you know right now, as you can see, we're going to be so. Amazing. Yeah. Also, in case you didn't know, go far enough away from enemies, they only spawn. In this game. Never mind. Right. Here, we'll get to a, to a junction. Lots of enemies down there. And you can the, just hold up. All you have to do is press up and then you're on. You don't have to hold up while you're on this, but if you jump off, you have to hold it down and go back on. Personally, by myself, I find myself going down here a lot. Only because it gets you crap tons of items. See that? Normally it gives you more though. And watch this. No! Ah, I'm so sick of that automatically making me go through the link. Yeah, in this game, normally if you look behind the links, these teleporters, there's almost always something there. It's always almost, almost always really cool. Yeah, like here, there's an item. So, nice. Now, keep enemy placement. Stop some bombs. Yeah, in case you didn't notice, back there was the area too. We don't have another ship. I believe that was three-way. And these are red ones. Red ones, I believe. Can, I'm not sure how much they gave you, honestly. I've never really bothered to check. I'm not sure the exact number. Really. Anyways, on with the video! Yes, the blocks with the panels like the ones we're standing on are the correct route to go to the level. However, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing if you're going along without things. Like the ones over there. See this? We. It will be won't be at least until we get pretty close to the second boss of the game that we'll be able to destroy this. So something really useful. Do you see that data? That's locked. We need an unlocker to get that data. You look, there's spikes over there. These don't actually insta-kill you in this game like they do in any in any other mini game platform. Actually they just do a set amount of damage which is enough to kill you at this point. Now there's a secret over here. You just have to hug this wall and immediately kill them. And it See that? Now you get to the secret area with some money and a special item right there. Now technically, you're not supposed to be able to get that item unless you have a certain ship, but that ship is actually in a folder immediately if you get. I just hope I get it. Dang. Didn't get it. Now what it sometimes gives you ship is a dash attack ship that lets you go. Oh. However, I'm gonna try my luck checking this out. Trick out bit. Or you could do a slide jump like that. One sword! Little useless. Also, I think that's kind of rare. You see this? You get it? And there's an enemy down there. Now you might think, oh, I can just jump up there. Oh, in order to jump up there, you need that said double jumping ability. Which is not obtainable until you get to quite a bit later in the game. But, yeah. Yes. This part, I just like to spam the Mega Muscle here. It's really easy. In case you didn't notice, it says lock on when those guys hit you, and then they attack you what seems to be immediately, right? Well, actually, if you're already moving, if you jump while they're lock on, they, they're still fine. Die. They hate those guys. Now, this is pathetic enemy placement because you can just murder this guy like instantly. Oh, look at somewhere else for a second. Done. Now, trust me, you're supposed to be that way, but you actually need a code anyways. And there's a very useful item up here. I mean, it's ludicrous, ridiculously rare, and incredibly helpful. Just trust me. Oh, look. Fear uh -huh. Shockwave can't do anything. Oh, wait, I'm full health. What am I trying to heal? What? Enemy murder. In case you didn't know, you can, there's actually a limited number of a chip you can have. For example, 
stuff. Little sword check that gets his auto bomb and that can this cannon chip, you can only have a maximum of 30 in In case you didn't know, if you get more of a chip, that increases your max number and you automatically recharge to full and you get full health and everything when you come back. This is what I was hoping for. Stone Bob, this chip, it's utterly useless. I like never use it because it makes you invincible, but you can't even do it. You can upgraded version of it, but you won't get it for a lot later in the game. And then upgraded version shows the layer attack. See, so there's spikes there, and a backup chip. Yeah, these things that look like regular chips, but blue, they give you extra lives, basically. They're also very good, so they're not. In case you didn't know, you lose any backups when you're out here. If you jack out, you automatically get all your backup chips back. So, for example, let's say you had three lives, but you lost two and you only had one left. Then if you jack out, you automatically have those three. Have all three of them. And also, something I would like to point out is that... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yes, that even if it says you have zero backups, Right under Mega Man's symbol there, and the yellow bar, which is your health, and the green bar, like I already said, is empty. Even if you have zero, you, even if you have, it just says you have one, and you lose that, you're still fine, but then if you die again, you get a game over. Which basically just says Mega Man Deli Day. In case you didn't know, that's her role. And if you look closely, she has C buttons on her head. This is not the N64! Kind of funny because there was never an N64 Mega Man game as far as I know. Eh, yeah, whatever. A fire in the internet. I've heard of fire on walls, but not internet set on fire. Whatever. <clears throat> and she gives us armor. First armor of the game, actually. This lets you, if you equip it, you can go here, click, equip, this makes fire damage go by these tabs, fire damage. Incredibly useful. Just like for certain enemies in the middle of this place. Nick, oh, fully. Oh, by the way, I love this place's music. Just listen. Like it? Land saying wow. He lands a pyro. And apparently Mega Man doesn't like that. How is he standing on those blocks? You know, those blocks actually fall when you stand on them. Clearly, Fire Man can defy a lot of the physics. This? Time? Oh, and also, you can slide under some enemies' attacks. Because you can't slide under the shockwaves from those yellow net guys, but you can slide under a cannon's attack. A cannon bonus. I honestly think that is such a stupid issue. Right here? Yeah. That shockwave can't go on the ladder, so you're totally protected here. Also, this area, you can access it later, and it will. This is an area 3. And right up here, once you beat the boss of this place, unfortunately, you can't listen to this place's awesome music anymore or after you beat the boss, but once you get back here, there is an INCREDIBLY ANNOYING enemy here. It's not annoying, it's just, it just scared the crap out of me as a kid, but he gives me such an awesome chip. <clears throat> Wait a minute. If this is on fire, how... Mail's PC is under lava, how did a roll get up here in the first place? <clears throat> Capcom logic. There's no way through there. Stop for me, bitch, put the yeah. Oh, these guys, don't bother trying to kill them. They don't drop anything. They don't drop anything, and I'm pretty sure if you kill them, they respawn. Kind of useful. And you see that item? Yeah, there's actually going to be blocks up there later that let you be able to reach that. For now, it's totally not reach. And also, there's that secret over there. I, myself, despite getting so far on the other dude, have never tried to get it. Because it's on a Im nearly impossible spike maze. I'm dead serious. Spike maze. Capcom. I don't remember. I didn't get anything. Whatever. I'm kind of running out of chips. I hope I got some. No, I didn't. 
in a record. It does 80 damage, which is a lot for this point in the game, but yeah. Oh wait, I just remembered something. Oh crap. After this, I'm not going to be fighting the boss in this one, simply because I know a strategy to beat him that is pathetically easy, but I don't have enough, but I only have two of the chip, chip that I need four of to do it. Yeah, down here I think it is. Yeah, there's that annoying spike phase in the data. I also don't know what that is. It's probably like an HP memory or something. And I swear, that is a power-up I'm going to be so tight. Yeah, but actually later in the game, yeah, you actually can survive spikes. Well, it's not for quite a while that you can actually survive. Why do we still have enough of a decent amount of health left? Purple virus, blue! Look at element! Be careful! Yeah. I already equipped it. I know! Yeah. yeah, he can't hit you when you're here, actually. Just hang down as far as you hang down as far as you can and just hit him with the Mega Buster. He can't hit he can't hit you. Look at that. The fire is touching my feet, but he's not hurting me. Look at it. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I didn't really drop him. And these blocks fall. You might have seen that repair chip I had before. That's totally useless. These just fall when you run. See? And Fire Man was standing on the... Told you he defied the laws of physics. Told ya. Never really got that. I love this music. Also, that recovery is full. At least at this point in the game. Once you get quite a bit later, though, actually recovers a second too. And those pink things, that mean bosses in the first time. Once you beat the boss, though, that just lets you jack out. I don't know, kinda weird. Anyways. No! Actually, if it's when you're fighting the boss in line, it's basically asking for ready for battle. I'm not ready! See, this is the chip that I need for fighting the boss. But I only but I need four of it to be able to successfully kill him. So I'll just cut the video here and the next and I'll just meet you back here later. Later in the next video. Yo, with two more of that, that bubbler chip. So, this is Super Saiyan 3 Bowser, signing out, and I'll see you next time. Bye.